Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPU Nuts video series on C++ multi-threading from beginning to advanced series and this is what is race condition. So this is very famous interview question and if you give this answer correct then they would know that okay you know or you hold a very good multi-threading experience or at least knowledge. So let's start this with a beautiful example which you will never forget in entire life. So I know this is a pretty bold claim. <laughs> okay, so what is race condition? Race is when there is this situation we have one place or one data structure or one data which is actually of interest for more than one thread okay this you can consider t1 t7 and t8 okay and every thread is actually going to modify this then this is actually a race condition i'll give you an example a live example so that you can relate and that is you go to a movie theater or cinema halls and all and you encounter one thing right if you are going to a very big cinema hall there are like different counters right one counter second counter and third counter there are people sitting on each and every counter and there is a big queue for every counter okay and every counter is taking bookings for different different movies so let's say there are two movies m1 and m2 for movie one we have let's say these many set of seats available and similarly for movie two we have let's say these many seats available now we all know that they are using some software to actually automate all these things they are not handing over to you any tickets without using software so now the situation is let's say this guy is asking for m1 ticket movie one ticket and this guy is also asking for m1 ticket so this is also movie one and this is also movie one they both asked to different different counters and different different guys for the same movie and let's say this one was filled and this one was filled and this one was filled now this is empty and let's say these two counter people they entered this seat number is let's say zero one two and this is seat number third if you consider this array they both are giving third seat by looking at this is available because they will not talk to each other because this can be a very big counter this guy someone sitting here will not ask or not shout that hey i am going to book this third seat for movie one no one else would put this number in the software so they are free to book any seeds whatever they see is available so both are putting three and three which is this now the entry will go simultaneously and both are trying to book this slot so this is the race condition now you see this example is actually holding true here let's try to make this little complex let's say these counter people are not putting these numbers they are just telling okay give me m1's available seat so both will hit the enter at the same time that yes i want movie once empty slot and your software what software you are using to get the ticket would see this as an empty slot and it is possible that if it is not handled properly it will give the same ticket third number to this guy and this guy so both of them got this slot now they both will go and start fighting here and this is one scenario i mean this is one of the many scenarios possible let's say if you try to impose the same example on ticket booking on trains because it is very much possible that two people are actually trying to book a ticket on some train and they are booking ticket simultaneously now it's the system job that who's to give the ticket and who's to avoid or who's to give the next one because here the simplest solution is your tool must be able to handle the situation that okay this is available i'll give this to this guy and then this request will return four from here instead of three then this is perfect and how your system would actually perform this we'll see that in next video but wait a minute don't go anywhere now let's talk about few more points about this race condition so the biggest funda about race condition is you want to modify the data listen this very carefully if you are not about to modify this data you are not going to tell that this is now occupied then there is no problem let's try to understand with some different example the point is let's say there is one 
a central timer kind of thing. Let's say this is your timer and there are thousands and thousands of threads. They just want to know what is the current time. Let's say these many threads are there and they all will actually talk to this shared object or shared resource, which is actually keeping the current track of the time. And all these threads just want to know what is the current time. So this is a read operation. These threads are just willing to know what is the time. They don't want to change the time. They don't want to modify the time. That's why if this thread is reading, this thread is reading, all the threads are going to read this variable or data structure at the same time. It won't make any inconsistency. And here we are, we were actually trying to modify this data. And because of this modification only, we have a race condition. So this point is very important. So what is race condition? Race condition is many threads or at least more than one thread are trying to modify collection of data, which is acting as a data structure, which is not a single operation. It can be combination of multiple operations, which I explained to you in my previous video, where I was taking example of doubly linked list modification in multi-threading environment. So the takeaway is race condition is when many threads are trying to modify some data, not access the data, never tell that, okay, many threads are going to access the data, then it's a race condition. No access, meaning you are going to just perform a read operation. But when you say modify the data in that case, only the race case, I mean, the race condition can occur and it is called race condition. It exists in the multi-threading world just because it makes your data inconsistent that now you cannot rely on this data because you know that, right? It was returning three to this guy and three to this guy also. Now both are having third slot and they will start fighting here. Now, no one would know actually who is holding the correct ticket. So this is inconsistency. That's why it is called race condition. So I think I have given enough pointers to actually understand this. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. And in next video, we will see how to solve this because this is a problem. We have discussed a big problem. Now let's see how to solve that in next video. So till then, bye bye. Take care.